And here we go. All right. So, what did you think of the Deadpool dose? I actually liked it a lot. <laughs> We're uh, laughing the entire time. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was. Uh, I, I I remember when I went to the um, other theater that I want. Uh, walk to for the first one. Yeah, I laughed aloud pretty much the same way just now, but you know, since I'm you know hanging around with yeah. you, it would. That was fun. Yeah. Um, the previews were bullshit though. Oh, God, yes. Uh, every single. It's like. No, Queen was awesome. Yeah. Not the other shit. Yeah, Queen. Yeah, I can. Predator, I thought was kind of cool though. Yeah, it's like. Everything else sucked. Yeah, it's like a uh, remake bullshit, you know, yeah. like you said. I forgot what the other one was, but I'm like, oh, cool, they made that now in, in affirmative action, you know? Oh, the Perch. Uh, yeah, the Perch. Yeah. yeah, affirmative action edition, which was, you know, bullshit. Yeah, what's well, in Origins, so, yeah. Yeah, but, oh, we had to have Origins Fallout, oh, Tom Cruise's Fallout of, yeah, uh, Mission Impossible. Yeah, it is a Fallout of his career. <laughs> yeah. And Go Scientology. Yeah, go Scientology, and he's trying to make money. Yeah. Like the fail failure that is the uh, mummy. He was in the mummy. Yeah, the uh, remake of the. Mummy. Oh, the remake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so. <laughs> Fuck the previews. Fuck the previews. Um. Yeah, I. I didn't think it would live up to the. Um, Expectations. Of like from the previous movie because. I didn't think so either. Yeah, because it's like I'd rather not give up my hope. You know. Yeah, I didn't go in there with high expectations. I was just like, I hope it's good. Yeah. And I, I, I liked it a lot. Yeah, it's like, it was a little bit more, pro well, it, they, they try to make, uh, uh, you know, Deadpool bisexual or whatever. Yeah, or there's a lot of gay jokes. Like, and, pro and progressive whatever stuff. But you know what? Yeah. It did it to its favor, though. Well, I snuck in things. Oh, by the way, spoiler alerts. Fuck it. Yeah, um, well, no, no, fuck it. It's it's yeah. a review. It's yeah. uh, spoiler alerts anyway. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, Colossus was the first uh, Marvel character to come out as gay. Yeah. That was a joke that they had, and <laughs> you, know, you, you know they played along with it. Yeah. But I wish, yeah, they had a lot of references, and I wish they did the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom thing that you were going to yeah, yeah. talk about. But, um, like... Well, the cool thing, too, is in the comic books, um, that's the reason why uh, Thanos um, hates Deadpool is because Lady Death likes him. I think uh. that they made his girlfriend to be Lady Death. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. But it's pretty cool. Yeah, like, uh, I mean, late, well, Lady Death is like, well, isn't, I thought uh, Deadpool's, uh, I mean, Wade's uh, girlfriend was like just another character. I uh, know, but I think they made it out to be that way. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because they have all that scenes where he's, like, you know, dying, and then he goes up to see her. You don't see anybody else. Uh-huh. Yeah. They had a lot of fun with this movie. Yeah. Uh -huh. Even the fucking taxi driver, man, that was fucking hilarious. Uh-huh. And he called him Brown Panther. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brown Panther. I still loved it when they're, like, hiring people to be there, and then they hire the random guy. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then the, the taxi driver's like, oh, fuck this, you know, he just throws the shit on the ground. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He's like, what's your superpower? Nothing. And he's like, damn it, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, like, and then we actually had an invisible guy. <laughs> I love that fucking invisible character. The parachute goes out and everything. It's like, oh. It's you just... don't even see him until the end when he, well, yeah. They all die. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone that they hired all died. Except, but, yeah, the black chick. No, yeah, yeah, Domino, yeah. Yeah, which is actually a character. Yeah, that's a real character. That's why they joked around about the X Force shit. Uh huh. Yeah, That's pretty cool. Um. Yeah. I, I mean, <coughs> I didn't know what they were gonna go with, but I mean, yeah, Deadpool dies. Oh yeah, no, they knew that because it was a joke about the whole Wolverine thing. Yeah, but however, then it's like, it's about you know, like, yeah, Wade losing his girlfriend and then coping yeah. with that, and so he goes to prison and all that shit. Yeah, that was kind of weird, though, because there's a lot of fuck-ups in that movie, and these, like, lazy writing, you know? Uh-huh. They just had fun with that one. Yeah, it's like, okay, yeah, they kind of acknowledge, they actually for all acknowledge the uh, limitations. Yeah, that was kind of funny, though, because you remember, we're sitting there, and there's, like, not a lot of people in the theater, uh -huh. and some asshole wearing, like, a gallon of fucking cologne sits right fucking near me. 
and I'm like, fuck this shit, so I climb up and <laughs> the next yeah, row. yeah, like <laughs> Jesus Christ, like you smell that shit too, right? I I, I could s smell it, but I guess you know, you know, next you're next to me, and yeah. if I was in your position, it was like. It wouldn't burn me, but however, it would probably... No, my eyes were burning when he was sitting next to me, and I'm even talking shit to him, like, half the time. Yeah. It's like, you piece of shit, fuck you. I know. I mean, shit, I, I, you know, what I do for a deodorant, right? Yeah, you use baking soda, you say. Yeah, yeah, baking soda and water. And it, no, but I mean, cologne is different. That's, uh, like, you if you're trying to impress a girl or something like that, uh, you might wear it. Yeah, but I'd rather not, not smell like nothing, because... You know, because He's, he smells like those old guys that have their like button up shirts half open with their chest hairs hanging out and they got like a gold chain on and shit. That's that's that kind of dressing is uh, ugh. That, yeah. that seems uh, but to go to a fucking theater yeah. and smell like that, that's fucking stupid. Yeah, like okay, if I yeah, I understand what you're saying with a girl, but in terms of yeah, okay, who you're impressing? No one, yeah. Well, even then, I was joking around. I'm like, some people fucking take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. Yeah. I I'd rather smell like nothing for the most part, you know? Yeah. But, so, what do you think about the movie, though? Oh. Um, like, uh, I don't See, I didn't know where it was going to go, but it became prison break, and then, uh, you know... It was it, all over the place. Yeah, it was really all over the place. But... Uh, like, you know, the whole part of the whole, uh, the, you know, home for mutants. Oh, it's, here's a bunch of pedophiles, which yeah. I, I, I kind of got an uh, esoteric thing of that of like, yeah, I think, uh, well, I, thinking with, you know, orphanages and then halfway orphanages? house, orphan, yeah. <laughs> orphanages and all that. It's like, yeah, you they, said jizz. Jizz. <laughs> it's like, yeah, normally they are abused in a yeah. way. Well, that's why they, you know, that's the whole concept. If you're adopted, you get fucked with. Yeah. And then prison, that's another place where you're fucked with. I know, but my favorite fucking part. Well, the juggernaut was pretty cool, too. But um, yeah, he didn't actually die, you know that. They stuck something in his ass. Uh-huh. That's fucking weird, but whatever. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of weird, like, especially, like, you remember when, um, like, they had the scene where Colossus is the reason why he goes to jail. You know, uh -huh. he tries to save the kid and shoots the guys in the head and shit. Uh -huh. um, that was the dumb part in the movie. Uh -huh. That's where I said, you know what, that's kind of stupid. Wouldn't they evaluate the situation? Because he does go in front of there, people are cheering him on and shit. And then he asks the kid, he's like, well, what happened, you know? Uh -huh. He finds out that, yeah, he's being fucked with. Uh -huh. And then immediately, when he should be the hero in that scenario, yeah, they turn on him. Yeah. And he goes to prison, you know? Yeah, it was stupid. I think they just forced it because they had the characters. My favorite shit, too, was also uh, the Black Tom Cassidy guy. Uh -huh. uh, it's like, oh, he's Black Tom. And then he snuck in so shit about him being an actual black person. Uh -huh. Yeah. And he, he kept calling Cable racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're both white. <laughs> yeah. That shit was funny. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, I'm just... Let's see. Comparing to the original... Yeah, the original was... I mean, no, the first movie. Yeah. It's like... It had to be, I guess, a little bit more safe. Otherwise, this one... The first one had a had a more strong script behind it. Mm -hmm. Because it's an Origins movie, you know, it's kind of, like, straightforward. Yeah. But this one was all over the fucking place, and it was silly as shit. Yeah. I fucking loved it. Yeah. This is a movie that I'd actually buy. Oh, like the first one? Yeah. I bought the first one, too. Yeah, um, I have to say that, uh, I remember that, uh, one of the things that, uh, during the, uh, production of this one, that the, uh, director for the first one, like, they could, like, he, uh, couldn't do it for this one. Yeah. Um, I, I forget the, why, uh, the real reason, aside from, like, all, the only reason I can think of is creative differences, which is, you know. Yeah. It oh, shit. You know, like. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, no, it happens. It's usually about money. Yeah, money. So, um, like, one podcast I uh, listened to, it was, uh, I think it was The Midnight's Edge, that they said that, you know, because they got, you know, that the original director wasn't there, hmm. uh, they had to fall, you know, his way because that means, like, oh, since the first movie was like this, we have to kind of we have to follow this. Yeah, you got to make it similar. Yeah, otherwise you're gonna lose your audience. Oh yeah. So it's like that's that's what they did. Yeah. 
And um, do you think that might be the best for the whole product production? It's like, well, because they had a certain style going on. I yeah. think that they they mimicked it pretty well. Like if if somebody were to never know about that, they right. wouldn't notice the difference. They would just be like, "Oh, cool! It's a Deadpool movie." Yeah, yeah. So it's like, like let's say if it was directed by the original guy, then he would have to follow it up, and it's kind of like, "Oh no, I can't," you know, recreate the magic. Yeah, in that well, sense, they have good writers, so that's the good thing. Yeah, and like the original writer was supposed to be David Goyer, the guy that did like Blade Trinity and shit like that. Uh-huh. Um, he was supposed to write this a long time ago, like two thousand three or something. Yeah, like yeah, over like fifteen years ago. And I'm kind of glad he didn't, cause that guy sucked. <laughs> yeah. He was a terrible writer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, mm, I I think well. Okay, I'm thinking that they're going to do another one. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, like, I think it's going to make a, a shit ton of money. Yeah. I liked how they made that one girl a lesbian, though. Oh, yeah. Because that was obvious. Yeah. Like, I remember, like, I'm in the theater, I point, I'm like, I fucking knew it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that Yukio chick, that's actually um, one of Wolverine's girlfriends. Oh. She's not supposed to have superpowers, but later on... Um, I can't remember if it's her or, or somebody else because there's three different uh, women that he, like Wolverine, had contact with. One of them was Lady Deathstrike, which I don't know if that's going to turn out to be her. And then they had another character, like especially in the the animated series, uh-huh. there was like two characters that they didn't know because he thinks that his his mind was warped with the Weapon X program, uh-huh. and so that's 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 kind of fucked up. Uh-huh. But whatever. Um, I liked how they had that, and the, the whole entire time Deadpool's just like saying, "Oh, hi, nice to meet you," you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, um, I didn't know that Josh Brolin was, uh, uh, Cable, which, he's also Thanos. Yeah, that's why he called him Thanos in the movie. (laughs) Yeah, I I didn't hear what you were saying, but okay. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, it's just funny that, yeah, Deadpool fights uh, Thanos in the comics, too. Yep. (laughs) And both trying to get Lady Death's, uh, affections. Yeah. I thought it was cool, too, because uh, you remember the scene where he's, like, chopping up all the bullets with his fucking katana blades? Uh-huh. And then all of a sudden you look at him and he has a bunch of bullet holes in him. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I think it was pretty good. I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah.